If you've been in the game development space for any amount of time, or if you are a developer, especially if you're a developer, then you've probably heard developers express their opinions about which game engine is the best. What's up folks, Man Amazing here, and hopefully I can aid in your choice of engine. We have great engines like Unity 5, Unreal Engine, and various other engines as well as in-house engines. But these two are usually at the forefront of the game engine war. Now this quote unquote war isn't as bad as say Marvel vs DC or console vs PC, but you will find that certain developers will um, almost shame up and coming developers or just developers in general for using the engine that they feel is inferior to the one that they use. These two engines and their respective asset stores are pretty much to the point to where developers have little to no excuse or reason to not make their ideal game in either engine. It kind of reminds me of that whole noob in Photoshop versus skilled artist in Microsoft Paint. Now you can go on several related YouTube videos and forums and you'll get a whole lot of Unity sucks. Unity is only meant for mobile games. It isn't powerful enough for real development. And you can also find similar excuses for Unreal Engine. You can't make a full game with blueprints. It's so hard to learn. Unreal Engine games are unoptimized. Okay, there's a little bit of truth to that last one, but you get the point. <laughs> a lot of these claims are just false. And majority of them, not all, but most are because the person using the engine couldn't figure out how to do what they wanted it, it to do. And or they didn't take the time to learn it. And more than likely, they heard someone else echo these claims, who heard someone else echo these claims, who heard someone else echo these claims, who, okay, okay, you get the idea. There are great games made with both of these engines, and the developers who use them found the workflow and features suitable to them. So let's talk about a few things that most people usually argue about. One of the main arguments is graphical output. Now a lot of developers and people in general will throw this to Unreal because its effects and graphical fidelity options are kind of turned on by default. So whether the game is bad or not, it usually looks good out the gate. Now Unity has a new processing stack, sorry, post-processing stack, which will give you default um, effects that actually look pretty good and hopefully they can build on it from here. So one of the downsides to Unity giving you full control on how you want your game built and the system that you want it to follow is a lot of developers don't know how to handle or create these effects that make the game look beautiful. Whereas Unreal has these things on by default, as I stated earlier. So you, then you get this stigma that Unity makes ugly games. And then you watch channels like Jim Sterling and you can see that a lot of developers don't know how to make a game look good when using Unity. A lot of up and coming developers, should I say. A proper artist makes all the difference visually when it comes to games. Let's talk about workflow. Unreal Engine games can be created with Blueprints, which is Unreal's visual scripting tool, or full C++ code with source. So if you want to add or take away from the underlying engine, you can do so. And if those changes are beneficial to other developers, you can commit to their GitHub and once they inspect the code and make sure that it doesn't disrupt any of the other parts of the engine, it can actually be melded into the engine for future updates, which is pretty cool. With Unity, you have C Sharp. And yes, there are other um, quote unquote languages. Um, yeah, just l learn C Sharp. <laughs> learn C Sharp if you're using Unity. It'll benefit you in the long run. And also because the store has loads of assets over time that they've built up, you can find a great visual scripting tool on the store that will complement you if you're a artist and want to get things done fast. Or if you're a developer and you don't want to, you don't want to resort to um, classic te text-based programming, which I love, so I'm good on that. <laughs> also, Unity is working on their own native visual scripting tool, so that's nice. Now, in terms of how you build a game, uh, the framework, if you will, Unreal actually has their own framework 
So you have things like game mode, player controllers, game instant. You have things for projectiles that will handle all of the movement and physics for you. Uh, you have built-in damage handling and so much more that is native to that engine that, is, that will help you build a lot of your game if you incorporate it into your, uh, your systems. Whereas with Unity, uh, you have to build all of those systems yourself. They give you a, a sandbox, if you will, for you just to build up everything that you want so the game functions the way you want it to. And that can be an upside or a downside depending on the developer. Now just to note, you can kind of create your own systems in Unreal as well, uh, but you will find yourself still incorporating some of their framework into yours. So it's not really the same as with Unity. Now let's talk about stores. They both have ever-growing asset stores. Unity has been around longer, so it's way larger, uh, but in such a short time, Unreal has built a solid store and it has a lot of quality products. For un, uh, Unity, you have a lot of quality products, but you have a lot of stuff in there that just sh shouldn't be there. And then you have a lot of things that are deprecated uh, that were not updated. So if you cancel out all those things, it'll probably still big, be bigger than Unreal's, but it will close the gap a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Let's talk about long-term usage and engine support. And by engine support, I mean supporting the engine with your money that you made from your games because of that engine. Now, Unreal Engine is free, and if your game makes more than $3,000 a quarter, or $12,000, or more than $12,000 in a year, uh, you're gonna end up paying 5% royalties uh, with Unreal. So, if your game made $50,000 for that year, then you wind up paying Unreal $2,500, which isn't a bad trade-off. That doesn't count for any other store that you're on, like Steam or Microsoft Store, etc. Now with Unity, you have a fully featured free version. And if you make over 100,000 a year, you have uh, paid subscription models that you um, have to undergo. So before the uh, subscription model, which I believe is going to, I think it's in effect now. I haven't looked at Unity's website in a while, but before they had it to where if you made over 100,000, uh, within a year, then you have to buy the pro version, and that's it, one time fee. Now it's um, getting rid of that and going to a fully subscription model, uh, which can be good. I mean, if you support the engine that made you the money in the first place, they can do more for the engine. I could go on and on about these engines and why neither one of them suck and choose the best for you, uh, but really, that is the bottom line. Choose what works for you, or for you and your team. Learn the skills, learn the craft, and the engine that best suits you become more apparent and allow you to drown out all the noise of what someone else thinks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be doing more videos like this, so make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions or just general comments, let me know below. Make sure you share this video. Well, until next time, guys, always remember, keep developing.